Scotty, I was going to be rough on this because I'm not recording in my usual situation with uh, soundproofing and so forth, so you're going to get some background noise. It might uh, sound a little bit scratchy, but we want to look at the design of the structure to make sure that it is following the uh, requirements of the assignment. And the main issue, again, is the Mobius strip concept. So the Mobius strip is a non-orientable form, which uh, in your research you should have uh, learned that you can start on one side of the plane. It is a planar form, and you can follow it in one direction and end up back where you started. And you can follow it in the opposite direction and it will do the same thing. So there are no changes of direction. You know, once you start out, there is no change of direction. In understanding the concept of the non-orientable form, the cube is an interpretation of that idea into a three-dimensional six-sided volume. That's what the issue is. So we can't have any confusing paths. We can't have any terminals, which means that there's a stop or, or a cessation of movement on the path of travel. There needs to be a single path of travel with no confusion. So the things we want to avoid include having T intersections, which is where basically if you were driving, that would be a three-way stop or a intersection of two paths perpendicularly, uh, two planes perpendicularly, making a four-way stop, so to speak. You don't want to create any corners, can't have intersecting planes on different directions, so as to form a corner. So if this is our starting point, and we go vertically, we cross over horizontally, so we've made a right turn here, a right angle turn here, which is fine. And then we make a right angle turn here, and then we go here, and then we drop down. Those are all fine. And then this movement into this, coming to here, and then this would have to wrap around on the side of this plane and come back over. And of course, these two have to meet. Then we drop down on this plane, and then we move to here. But this doesn't go anywhere. So where is this ending up? We have to end up where we started. So how do we get from here to here? If this plane is completed all the way down and you attach this edge, in other words, you lengthen this all the way down. So the plane is kind of a Z shape and it comes down and anchors on the same visual plane as this plane and these edges then we can continue the path of travel and end up here. But right now you've got a terminus here and a terminus here. The other thing you need to check is make sure that you are dividing the space into thirds in every direction. So your horizontal direction, your vertical direction, and your depth, your transverse direction. So those directions we talked about in the very first lesson, the very first week of the course, it's those three directions that create volume. So you want to make sure that you address the volumetric understanding in dividing that cube. It looks like you're okay for the most part. My question is the distance from here to here and the distance from here to here, because this looks a lot shorter than this distance. So just want to make sure that all your measurements are in thirds. So if this is a nine by nine by nine cube volume, your planes are three inches wide. If this is a 12 by 12 by 12 volume, then your planes are four inches wide and they can only change direction on that four inch grid. And I'm assuming that if this is a quarter inch foam core, that this is a small maquette, which is the way you should be looking at this. In other words, you are working out the problems in small scale before you build the final design. So you've got a problem going on here. This edge has to actually come down and meet this edge. This would have to come all the way down and meet. So this edge would be this long.
So basically the shape of that plane, when you cut it out, is going to look more like this, kind of like one of those Tetris pieces. The other thing you need to make sure of is that the thickness is not going to add to the vertical height, the depth, or the horizontal distance. And it looks like you've got kind of a um, rabbit ear joint right there where you have part of the foam board cut away. And so this distance from here to here would be, say, the 9 inches. And then the top plane is doing this. So that would be a rabbit joint because it's, uh, you know, it's the idea of a rabbit, so to speak. So... The main issue that you need to deal with structurally is what's going on with this relationship. Because if we start here, we have to end up here. As is, we're not going to get there. We're going to have to end here. And we have a starting point here, so there's a gap that needs to be dealt with. And just make sure you're doing everything in thirds. The other thing that I want to address, just to clarify, so a T-intersection would be where you have the plane doing something like this. And the reason that's a problem is because if our path of travel is doing this, we have two options. So any place where you have a decision to be made that does not adhere to the Mobius strip concept. And this type of thing can happen in the same plane or it can also happen in a situation where you know you've got a plane doing this. Say it's uh, you know on the the, the vertical and then you have one coming in doing this so that the path of travel is basically doing the same thing you come in here and then you have a decision make that way or that way and every time you have to make a decision you are contradicting the idea of the Mobius non-orientable single path of travel idea Another thing you don't want to do is put three planes together, have them intersect in any way so that they create some sort of three sides of a barn, so to speak, so we get a corner. So this is a vertical direction, and this would be a vertical direction, and this is a horizontal direction, but then it's creating you know, two walls and a floor. You can't do that. And the other is a little harder to do, but where you have things coming in from two different directions, or you're giving three directions in terms of making a decision in terms of path of travel, so where do we go from here? No confusion. So I hope this is helpful.